Hey guys, Shane here, Crypto Fish YouTube channel. So today we're going to do a little comparison between NiceHash and something new, somewhat new, called Honey Miner. And also we'll get into what the mining rigs did the last 24 hours. All right, guys, be back in a bit. All right, real quick before we go on, guys, I got something going on called Bitcoin Fridays, where you guessed it, I give away Bitcoin every Friday. So all you got to do is be subscribed, hit that notification bell below, and uh, when that video comes out, which will be tomorrow, the Enter to Win video, you'll be notified, all right? It's as simple as that. So you'll enter your BTC wallet address on that tomorrow's video, and then Friday I will pick the winner, okay? So make sure you guys subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when you can enter to win. All right, guys? Let's get into uh, which one wins, Honey Miner or Nice Ash. Okay, so for those of you who don't know much about Honey Miner, well, I'll go over an article real quick, and then we'll uh, pull it up. I got them side by side, ready to go, and then we'll see which one's more profitable. So here is the article. Uh, Honey Miner enables Bitcoin earning on laptop. Can Tortoise still win the race? All right. Remember those good old days when earning Bitcoin on a laptop was still a viable option? Well, cryptocurrency then was still in its infancy, and massive mining farms running super fast ASICs were yet to take over the crypto space. To give you a breeze of nostalgia, a New Jersey based crypto mining startup, Honey Miner, is aiming to let people earn small portions of Bitcoin with a Windows laptop. Honey Miner, as told to Coindesk, launched its free beta in June 2018 and saw 10,000 uh, downloads worldwide. The miner doesn't have to do the math or manage all the configurations and settings or manually check the prices. Honey Miner uh, advisor and venture capitalist Noah Jessup told Coindesk. Users can take part in a dynamic mining pool with the app when the GPU of the laptop or computer is idle. Uh, the pool focuses on GPU-friendly currencies like Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, Zcash, and Monero. Once the session ends, Honey Miner converts the user's earnings into Bitcoin and transfers them to the wallet. So it's pretty much like what NiceHash does. Uh, Joseph adds, uh, we make it so that any surplus compute, so any laptop you aren't using all the way up to the rig that you are running, all the way up to the rig that you run, is automatically doing the most profitable computation. Based on the currency's mining profitability, the algorithm of honey miners swaps between cryptocurrencies in every 10 minutes, depending on the block size. Same thing NiceHash does. Um, we are pulling people together to find those block rewards faster. Together, we have a larger hash rate, Honey Miner co-founder Larry Com said. Not only do we connect you to the blockchain and anonymize you through you through us, but you also are contributing to what is, in essence, a pool. Uh, the individual participation in mining has diminished over the years as large-scale farms with ASICs. Uh, they're at least 100 times faster than even the best GPUs took over. Uh, while the app definitely provides opportunities to invest in Bitcoin for people without deep pockets the little uh, and little access to cryptocurrency exchanges, the profitability factor doesn't seem rewarding. Considering the broader market volatility in Bitcoin and Honey Miner's cut range between 2.5 and 8%, it may not be practical. Well, we'll find out here in a second. Uh, mining Bitcoin with a GPU is like trying to mine gold with a spoon, says Ken. Um, crypto economist based in Los Angeles uh, while answering a query on Quora. It hasn't been profitable to mine Bitcoin with GPU since 2013, he adds. Lou feels that an access to the latest ASICs coupled with free power is needed to make a profit. Uh, though Honey Miner focuses on GPU-based cryptocurrencies, still a few high-end GPUs can only rake Bitcoin worth a dollar or two in a day's run, Coindex opines. Uh, the company revealed that more than 18% of the users are, were from developing nations, but refused to state how many are from countries that curb cryptocurrency transactions. So that's a little bit on what Honey Miner is. Pretty much the same thing as NiceHash. 
It doesn't ca have as many algorithm algorithms as NiceHash, um, but I think it's um, Ethereum. Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, Monero, and Zcash is what they said. I think there might be a couple more, but anyways, um, here is the interfaces, or here's Honey Miner, right here. It's kind of what it looks like. Let's move Nice Hash over and drop Honey Miner down. So I did do a little testing with Honey Miner. That's why there's a little bit on there, only nine cents. It's nothing big. So let's hit Start on Nice Hash. And we'll see what it pulls up doing. May take a little bit to uh, spool up. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what it's mining on the CPU. Lyra 2Z on the CPU. And looks like it's going to be X16R Ravencoin on the uh, GPU. So sitting at 19 cents a day right now with nice hash all right so i just stopped it let's start it again because that seemed a little low 19 cents uh, in case y'all are wondering i've got a 1050 ti in this laptop so it may lag a little bit while i'm doing this because i'm recording it live so you can see right here, 1050 Ti. Let's see what it's doing now. Still two cents on the CPU, which is pretty bad doing Lyra 2Z. That's pretty low. That CPU, as you can see here, is an i7-7700, 2.8 gig. Let me see if X16R, now that's the Lyra 2Z. Well, it's not pulling up anything on the GPU yet, so maybe it's still um, still figuring out what it's going to do. So let me put this pause, and I'll come back when it picks it up. All right, so 20 cents a day, 18 cents on the GPU, 2 cents on the CPU. That's pretty low. Of course, it's mining Ravencoin. But I'm really just seeing which one is more profitable. I mean, these softwares pick their quote unquote most profitable coin. So let's we'll see which one does a better job on picking the most profitable coin. Nice Hash does have more choices, but is it smarter than Honey Miner as far as picking the most profitable coin? So let's stop this. Now let's go over to Honey Miner. This may take a second to get going, so let's turn it on. And you can tell it's going right here. Now with the Honey Miner, you can click on um, See Full Activity. And this will tell you right here, once, it's, once it gets going, um, what it's doing. And then you can actually go in and see like the um, what the actual miner is doing so let's go over here this may take a second to get up so let me put it on pause and when it finally gets up and going I will come back and show you all right so we got it up and running here's honey miner GPU mining one CPU mining one uh, we're at 28 cents same thing uh, let's show you the Actual card, so you know it's the same one, 1050 Ti and the i7-7700. Um, only doing two cents on the CPU and 26 cents on the GPU. Now we can click and see what we're actually mining. Here's the miner console. If it'll let me do it, there we go. So we're mining Monero on the CPU and Ethereum on a 1050 Ti. So it is pulling a little bit more than the um, nice hash. So as far as profitability, that's 28 cents as compared to 19 to 20 cents just for this laptop. 
So if you want to get to the different things, you can click on full activity and that will pop up this right here and show you what your cards. I mean, you could put this on a, you know, obviously a mining rig, Windows based mining rig, and that'll show you what's going on with this, your cards, what each one's doing, temperatures, etc. Um, and then if you click in here under settings, you can actually go to minor console and that will pop up and show you this and show you exactly what it's mining. So all in all, it seems to be a decent little miner. Um, my CPU is not working right. I was getting some kind of a socket error. So that's probably why it was only two cents on both of them. Let's go back and see if it's thick. Yeah, it's only one cent, two cent here. So, but that's just something with the CPU. It might be because I'm recording right now as well, but it's probably actually the case. But in any event, um, this little honey miner thing seems to be more profitable than NiceHash. So maybe it's something you all want to try out um, and see see what it does for yourself. Um, so with that, let's get into um, what my rigs did over the last 24 hours. So here we are sitting at 28.56 total mined, uh, 983 worth of Bitcoin gold, and 18.73 worth of Ethereum Classic. Uh, total value mined, 596, uh, less than $4 now, shy of 600 value mined, almost $50 up over last week. Of course, that's in due in part to the nice jump in Bitcoin, above 8,000 over the last 24 hours. So also, we're going good. Everything is good as far as the mining and everything is going. Um, let's see what we're still doing here. 27 cents. Let's see if it's uh, picked up on this a bit. One cent, 25 cents, so no big change. Um, like I said, I mean, if the, the one thing is the honey miner said, it tries to use algorithms that are not GPU, you know, aren't really hard on the GPUs. So maybe I can let this run on the laptop as we, whereas before I didn't want to run nice hash because I've read things on, um, where nice hash or, um, mining on your laptop can be, uh, cause problems even quote unquote fires on it I'm not don't know about that but just what stuff I've read but honey miner seems to use like I said algorithms that aren't too hard on your GPUs so I can probably pull up real quick let me see if I can find it and see what the temperature is GPU Z I do have this and we can see what it's doing as far as temperatures, it did it does show you the temperature on Honey Miner, but I want to see if it jives with uh, what GPU Z does. So if this thing will ever load, it's probably I can see my face kind of cutting in and out, so it's lagging a bit because of mining. So let's go to Advanced Currents, 94 degrees. Let's see what sensors, GPU temperature 54. Let's see what Honey Miner says. 53. So it's pretty close. So it does actually track your temperature pretty well. So in any event, that is the review between Honey Miner and NiceHash, guys. So I'll put a link down below. It will be a referral link. I don't actually know what I get out of it, but... If I get something out of it, cool. It's free for you to use, free for me. So um, if you guys are interested, try it out on your rigs or your GPUs, your laptops, your desktops, whatever, and see what you get out of it. Um, and let me know in the comments down below, all right, guys? So again, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell below so you'll be notified when the Enter to Win video for Bitcoin Fridays comes out. All right, guys, with that, I will see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye.